Welcome back everyone. Today we have another muzzle device test on deck for a review. You can check it out right there. This one's got a lot of attention out there on the forums lately. What we're going to do today is uh, just keep doing some shooting with it here. Um, talk about the pros and the cons. Try to do a low light test and see what kind of flash signature we're getting out there. And uh, that should pretty much wrap it up. But for now we'll keep uh, sending the rounds down range. Let's check out the dust signature next firing from the prone. And if you're firing from the side, I'll just lay it down for demonstration purposes. What I'm going to do now is try to send a few rounds down range relatively quickly. I'm going to play it back here in slow motion so you guys can see what kind of uh, muzzle movement that we're getting out of this device. This is a 16-inch uh, mid-length system with a, uh, a standard carbine buffer and full auto, full carrier group for those of you guys wondering. Firing 55 grain ammo. got the rifle loaded up with uh, 55 grade wolf so in terms of flash signature this is about as bad as it's gonna get but it'll give you a good idea of uh, worst case scenario we'll go ahead and send a few rounds down range here and see what kind of signature we get Time to get into some of the details here on the AFAB Mini. First off, it starts out with a piece of 416 stainless steel. The finish there is an ion bond finish, so very durable, very corrosion resistant finish. It weighs in at 3 ounces and it's just over 2.22 inches long. To give you an idea, compared to say your standard A2 birdcage, that's the size difference. So you're looking at roughly, well, a little, probably a little under half an inch in terms of the size difference as you see there. Um, you'll notice when you look at the picture that I'm rolling in here, the holes in there are actually circular even though there is the square cut pattern on there. And those little circles there are what's going to allow the pressure to bleed off, but there is no um, holes in the bottom to prevent uh, much dust sig signature from kicking up underneath you like you guys saw earlier in the video. And it's also, when you look at the bottom, you'll notice that it is uh, uh, pre-drilled so that we can pin it on a 14.5 inch barrel and uh, avoid any of those uh, NFA laws that come into play when you do that. Um, it's called the AFAB Mini because it's designed for 14.5 to 16 inch barrels and they're actually developing a larger version, a slightly larger version I should say for 10.5 to 12 inch uh, rifle, uh, rifle barrels so that way it's got a little bit more room in there to deal with the increased blast. Of course this will work just fine on those but it's not optimized for that. Um, one thing you also notice when you're looking at it is that it does have an AccuWasher system here. I recommend you don't use a crush washer and uh, we recommend you use these AccuWashers so you're not over torquing it down and it comes with these little set of instructions here and all these different AccuWashers so you can time it up it comes in a 20 degree increment so for every 20 degrees that you need to turn it you just use a different um, different little washer in there and they're all it tells you exactly where it is for what degrees in terms of when it's lining up so if it's lining up let's say at 100 degrees use uh, AccuWasher number 14 and it's marked with this little marking system here so that's how it works it's pretty foolproof just about anybody can use it it's not too complex so just noting that they do not recommend using a crush washer one thing everyone has to take into account when you're deciding to purchase a product or if you want a product is going to be the price so this one here comes to market right at 110 dollars at msrp so give or take depending on where you actually pick one up but the performance is good. As you guys see in here today, it does an excellent job at controlling recoil. The flash signature is what it is. It's a muzzle brake. It's not um, It's not designed to be a flash hider. It does have some flash hiding characteristics over a bare barrel, no doubt about it. But there is a little bit of flash signature there, as you guys saw earlier in the video. So, all in all, it does a good job of controlling muzzle rise. It does a good job of controlling uh, impulse control as well. So. It's not quite as blasty as some of the other brakes out there on the market. Just to give you an idea versus like a one that's more known, I guess you could say, is going to be the Battle Comp. It's going to be slightly less blasty, in my opinion, than the Battle Comp. And, uh, you know, versus say like an A2, you're going to have slightly more blast. So not bad in terms of brakes, though, in terms of blast and concussion. There certainly are a lot worse out there. Um, for instance, like the Surefire that many of you guys are very used to as well. That thing is very effective, but it's very blasty. This is going to be... You know slightly less blasty than that but 
all in all, it works well, works as designed, it's a good product, it's got a good finish, good machining, not too much to complain about there. If you guys have any questions about this review, or anything else to talk about here in the channel, you can feel free to post below in the comments section. As always, you can post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.